a day after President Uhuru Kenyatta formed a commission of inquiry into the Makueni County governance issues, the move has been met with divergent views. Makueni Governor Professor Kivutha Kibwana has welcomed that move, but MCAs who are now staring at the prospects of fresh elections are not a happy lot. And as Rita Tinina reports, even opposing comes in the county, county assembly are now speaking in one voice. For months now, persistent wrangles have characterized business in the Makueni County government. Divisions in the county assembly on one hand and bad blood between the assembly and the county executive on the other saw the impeachment of Governor Professor Kivuda Kibwana and four county executives. The two sides of the divide are sticking to their positions. I think the governor is doing his best because what we call services, they are money bound. It is very clear uh, to the people of Makueni that they have not gotten services. In fact, the last uh, financial year, uh, the county government of Makwene was unable to utilize 1.3 billion shillings. On Monday, President Uru Kenyatta formed a commission to look into a petition by a section of residents of Makwene seeking to have the county government dissolved. The commission will start working after the IEBC verifies the identities of some 50,000 petitioners. The people of Makwene, I'm sure, are very happy because uh, they want to elect new leaders. The move may have brought the prospects of fresh elections in Makueni closer home and not everyone in the county assembly is happy about it. I don't think whether that is the right way to go as uh, Makueni. Sasa lazima sasa na wale ambao tulikuwa tuanze kujua mambo yetu si mazuri sababu hata ukienda kuomba kiti watu watakuwa na kuambia na kiti gani unaomba na chenye kiti yenye tulikupatia imekushinda. In fact nobody is, is prepared to go for an election unless it is 24, 17. In fact, leading figures in the two opposing sides in the county assembly are now singing the same tune, dialogue. The assembly always and ever has been for dialogue, but that does not mean that uh, we are fearing elections. If we go back there, most of us will be back here again. I'm sure everybody has their own problems, but unless we talk, we cannot know how to solve those problems because they are touching the two groups, the executive and the, the, the legislation, which is the assembly. Those opposed to the dissolution say they are not scared of fresh elections, but are accusing the governor of trying to pull everyone down with him. If he's, uh, if he's not able to deliver service to the people of Makweni, I think the best option as a person is to resign. Majority leader Francis Mutuku, who is among those who have been leading the onslaught against Professor Kivuda Kibwana, says dialogue may just put another option on the table. The way to go, when you're dialoguing, you cannot tell him to resign when you're in a round table. You just tell him to do what he's supposed to do. Professor Kivuda Kibwana supports the dissolution of the county, but with the prospects of fresh elections somewhat unpopular with the two opposing sides, another chapter may open up in the Makueni governance drama. Rita Tinina, KTN.